Hello, my friend. Hopefully that you are doing great. Okay, so in this lesson, I want to say you have to set uh, some strings into text box and we will try to complete the login form. So let me try to share the screen first and then I will say you what we're going to do. Okay, so basically after we learn step, we try to click on the label login here. After we navigate it to this screen, we need to input an email and an, in, an password, and then we click on the login button here. Uh, okay, to see whether we can set the value in, into those text box. So now uh, we under the text package here under the API learning here, you create a new class with the name says value. <laughs> Enter. So we will create a new main method inside here. And then I just want to need to list out the step that we want to do that. The first step, we need to launch the target app. Then we click on uh, login label in which name. Uh, input the password and then we uh, click on login button that's what we gonna do right a lot of typo here uh, and this one okay this is the second step this is the third step this is the fourth step and this is the fifth one okay so now we want to launch the app. So we want to have the Appium uh, driver. Sorry, Appium driver with the type with the type is mobile element Appium driver equal Appium driver standard dot get Appium driver here. So we will send the capability there and launch the app. And then we will try to click on the login button. So mobile element uh, login label label equal uh, appium driver dot five element by accessibility IDs as you still remember. But I will left is as plan here. After that, we will use login label dot click done right. And then we need to have the mobile element uh, login uh, the username passport <coughs> equal appium driver dot by element uh, by accessibility ID. I'm not sure if we will have accessibility ID or not, but we just keep it here as as, uh, as a placeholder, okay? Uh, and then. What I do, I will use uh, username textbox dot send key. Okay, we use the send key API here to send something. Okay, so for example, I will send my name here. Or oh, actually, it's not username but the email, right? So I can send something like uh, my name as uh, mail domain dot com. And then I will do the same thing for password. So let's try to copy this one and put under the password. So this is not the username text box, but the password text box. And this one is actually not username. So let me try to refactor the name. Uh, rename here and we will put something like uh, email text box. Okay. So this one will be the Password text box base here and the password is something like password. Okay. And finally, I will click on the login button. So mobile element again, login button equal appium driver dot byte element by accessibility ID. And again, I just put it here as a placeholder because I'm not sure we will have the you know accessibility ID for that element or not and then we call the click API here so this is something like the the structure what we are going to do okay 
So now we need to open the FPM desktop here, try to launch it, okay? I'm trying to close it first. And I will try to open the Sage capability here. And I will start the session to inspect the element attribute, okay? So at the time we learn about the pay objects, we will try to, uh, you know, customize the element locator later, okay? So don't worry about that. We will go step by step. Okay, just wait a little more. So I think it's trying to unlock the device screen. Yeah, and it's still try to open the application. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, try to unlock, refresh the, and then I wanna refresh to get the latest. Then I wanna click on the login form here. We already have the login label, right? Refresh to get the latest here. So now I wanna inspect this field, right? I click on this field. Uh, let me try to refresh one more time because after I click, I want it to, uh, you know, navigate here, okay. Anyway, uh, we can try to navigate manually here. It should be belong to this group. And this one, this one, this one, and uh, this is the login, this is the form, right? This should be the form here. And then we will open the email field here. Let me try to maximize a little. <clears throat> and then this is the, the field. Okay, so we have something like contents description here. So we will use an accessibility ID, right? Let me try to copy this one. Go back to our script here. So the first one is uh, the username here, okay? I put it here. It's a de description contains. So on Android, it should be accessibility ID, okay? And then I want to grab the login value here for the login label on the home screen, okay? So we will do the same for uh, password view here is the input password. I paste here for the input password, okay? And now for the login uh, button, we have the content description here. So we will find by accessibility ID again. Okay, now here we go. So before you run this script, you need to make sure you open the FPM server on the box 4723, okay? And then you run it again, run set value does man here. So I'm gonna open the FPM control lock here and I open the device screen here to see uh, what is going on under the hood. So now it is sending the desired capability to FPM server, FPM server launch, try to launch the app. Uh, this screen is not, um, it's just the old one. So basically we will have the new uh, screen on the home page. So just need to wait a little more, okay? So now it's now try to launch the application. Yeah. Uh, it's learned now and we'll try to click on the login and then input the email, input the password, click on the login button. You see, everything is now okay, right? And I just wanna summarize a little. So the main ADI that you wanna send the key uh, to a text box is send keys, okay? And before you try to write something, you try to drop down all of the steps that you want to do. And then when you do, it will avoid you to have some mistakes. Okay, so you try to leak out 
uh, launch the target app, click on login label, input username, input patchwork, and click on the login button. Okay. So as I mentioned, uh, we have some status value here, but don't worry, just keep doing it. Uh, and in the session related to the page object, we will tell how to handle them later. Okay. So try to have this script running and then uh, bye for now and see you in the next uh, lesson. Okay.